Hi! Welcome to the 3D Pen Den. Last time we talked about two different ways of working with 3D Pen. The first one resembles the process of drawing. And the second one more the process of painting. Both open a whole world of design opportunities. Especially when you add color. So let's look at some of our options. First for the drawing look. First we'll make a simple sphere with just enough elements to define a ball shape with some basic divisions. I will only need every other circle on this 3D made matte circle segment. Plus I will also include the largest circle to allow me to make the largest possible ball with this tool, which is 5 inches. Here are my intended circles for the first hemisphere plus all the exponentially increasing spacers that I plan to use for the assembly process. If you actually want to try this, there is a detailed description of the planning process for the sphere in this video. And the link is, you guessed it, in the description below. For just a brief recap on how the assembly works, in case you need to know right this minute. Lift the first circle up the wire. Connect the next circle to the middle axis. So it stays centered once it becomes its turn to be lifted. Lower the first one to the height of the first spacer and connect it to the bottom circle. After the first few connections solidify, you can remove the spacers and finish the connections all around. And then lift the structure up the wire again and repeat the process. Occasionally, you may want to check if the ball curve is actually coming out round and if all the planned spacers will still fit in the projected height of the ball. All you need for that is a cardboard cutout the size of a quarter of the equator circle. This is the experiential approach but if you are a STEM teacher and want to have a math lesson in this project Watch this video, which gives you the formula for mathematically calculating the spacer height. Yes, the link is also down below. Keep going until you get to the largest circle and then do it all again for the second hemisphere. The good news is you don't actually need to make the whole second half because that would unnecessarily double the equator circle, which would then show as a heavier seam on the finished ball. So you want to stop just one step short with the second one to achieve a seamless design. Then just stabilize the first hemisphere so it stays put and join the two parts together using the largest spacer. Done. We have a ball. And we could stop right here. But we can also take out our box of crayons and color it in. Just strategically here and there. Remember we are aiming for the delicate linear drawing look. The idea is to put the lines next to each other but not necessarily join them kind of like placing embroidery threads next to each other. The trick to making this work is not to work in the same spot long enough for the underlying network to heat up too much. 
and melt and collapse. So that's why I'm rotating the ball around after each addition. The turntable is a big help here. By the time I get all the way around to the original spot, it will have cooled enough to place another strand next to it. The patterns on these balls were inspired by the traditional Japanese temari ball design. And if you want to hear more about that, watch this video. You know where to find it by now. Once you have finished the first half, you will need to flip the project. It is way more comfortable to work from the narrower end to the wider than the other way around. The beauty of working into the predetermined spherical grid is that it defines the shape and size of the individual areas you need to fill. At the top of the ball, I obviously don't have enough room to put in all the stripes as wide as around the equator. So the design will have to be altered to accommodate the shape. Perhaps in this case, I will shift the stripes into a star on both ends. All done. Makes a great event decoration. Especially since it's so lightweight, it can hang on a single thread. And the color and design possibilities are endless. The actual temari balls are of course solid embroidered balls, so you can decorate only their surface. With 3D pen we can make them transparent and gain the opportunity to also put design elements inside the balls. But more about that next time. Until then, go and make something! Thank you.